Hello, this is Michael Rubin, and we have been working on chromatic in the key of D. I see chromatic in the key of D, third position. And so we started talking about using the buttons, so this time I want to talk about um, three ideas that uh, can help make the button sound cool. So the first thing I want to talk about is my own term. I call this a flourish. And what I mean by this is I need to be in one hole and in one breath direction. And both notes in the hole need to be harm harmonious to the key. So let's talk about uh, two blow. Two blow is E. Two blow with the button is F. Both of those notes sound good during a blues in the key of D. And so what I can do is this. Now notice most of the time when I do uh, button work, I do it with this part of my finger. But on a flourish, I do it here. And I don't have my hand at a right angle towards you. It's not straight ahead. It's curved uh, where uh, it goes out from my pinky is going out away from the button it just seems to go faster for me mileage may vary four draw can also do a flourish because four draw is b and four draw button is c the second idea i want to talk about is a jab um i've heard this term uh be used for this before, so uh, I hope I'm using it correctly. But in any case, in a jab, I'm going to start on two blow, quickly push in two blow with the button, and quickly release. Four draw. So slowly it would be, but it's real quick. up in the key of G. Interesting. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that's, that's, let's call that a jab. And then I want to talk about what I call a clip. And as far as I know, that's my own term. And so in a clip, you need to have one hole and one breath direction and you're dealing with both notes in the in the hole and what you do is you start on the no button hole note and then you push in the button so for example e to f two blow two blow button but the trick is the e note or the non button note the first of the two is very quick it's a grace note. Now the second note can be quick or it can be long. That doesn't matter. Now here's an interesting thing about a uh, about a clip is that the first note doesn't need to be harmonious with the key you're in. So for example Let's say, um, I'm trying to think of a good example in the key of D. I don't know if I got one. Let's let's try. Let's try the key of if I did the key of B flat, three draw button would be B flat, and if I was doing a B flat major scale, three draw A would be in that scale. But if I was doing blues, it wouldn't be A. It would be A flat. So in the key of B flat, three draw, the non-button note, is not in the scale. And three draw button, B flat, is in the scale. It's still okay to do a clip in that situation. Because the non-button note is so fast that it doesn't really matter if it's harmonious with the key or not. So all that matters is that the button 
in note is harmonious with the key. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's get to YouTube. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn turn this sucker way up because I noticed in my last jam, the video where I jammed last, it was kind of quiet. And I don't want that. Alright. I'm going to turn this as loud as I can. Okay, so I'm going to try and do some flourishes. As usual, sometimes I shot for something and I didn't. It didn't quite happen. I mean, this is not. You know, I'm doing this stuff off the cuff. I'm not going to be perfect. So, hope you're enjoying it, though. Uh, if you are, give me a like or a comment. And uh, if you want to take lessons, go to MichaelRubinHarmonica.com. We'll get started. Thanks very much.